Hey, my name is Jacob, and I am a PV design engineer with Solar States. Today, I wanted to share our solar design software. It's called Scanafly. It's super cool, has a lot of great functionality, um, and I'm really excited to share this. So without further ado, let me get into this. So here is a 3D model of a client's house. You may wonder where we got this. We actually took a collection of drone photos that were gathered during a survey, um, uploaded them to Scanafly, and it produced this 3D model for us. The model is accurate to the centimeter, so we can take measurements that are really, really um, precise. And it's just great because it keeps us from uh, needing to get up on the roof, take the measurements physically. Uh, so it's a lot quicker, a lot safer. I've already started on a design here by laying down roof outlines. Um, the red outlines are called keep outs. It's where you don't want the modules. And when you click the fill module button, actually for the sake of example, I will just show you all. Click fill and it just puts in um, the modules where we want them based off of the constraints that I already laid down on the roof. Now I'm going to get rid of some of the modules we don't want. This is pretty much the layout that we were looking at. And um, the, you see these bubbles here that are numbered. These are called view sheds. These are basically an indicator of how much sun that section of the array, the array is receiving. This is a really efficient array, so we're not seeing um, any low numbers on any of these. You can see that most of these are around 82%, which is a pretty efficient array. Once I lay down the view sheds, you can look at project info. Um, you can see here, we're producing about 4,787 kilowatt hours annually. And this is a crucial part of the design process because we can see based on the panel configuration and the surrounding obstacles, how much energy you're really producing. We can even tweak that design to get even more efficiency out of the array. So um, it's just something that's super useful for customers so they can see and know that they're getting the most efficient system. Scanafly is super versatile. So here we have a ground mounted array that I was working on. The customer had let me know that these trees were going to be cut down. So I just took them out of the model with what's called occluders. Conversely, there were some trees that the model didn't pick up since they were out of boundaries. And so I was just able to import those in there, put them in and account for any extra shading that those would have created. So there's the ground mountain concept. And uh, here you can see it in reality. This is a commercial scale model. Uh, so this is just another example of how versatile Scanafly really can be. Yeah, so that's Scanafly. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions about our design process here at Solar States, feel free to reach out. And we do do free assessments of your home to see um, how viable it would be for solar. So uh, check us out, Solar States. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.